people have uh, requested for me to do uh, the presentation about how I became vegan. So today, I'm pleased to be standing here and uh, want to share you, share with you my uh, vegan journey and how I became vegan. Uh, meat, fish, and chicken were always the centerpiece of my diet, and uh, I was experimenting with my diets once in a while. But I was so scared to envision my life without meat presenting, and. Um, it, everything has changed um, when I moved. I decided to travel to Florida, enjoy the sun and the beach. And uh, I was staying in the house with a nice couple, Matt and Olga, and uh, they were vegans for quite a while. And the way they were approaching their food was so natural and easy. And uh, they dissolved all my fears, and I decided that it's time to change. So now I'd like to share some benefits and uh, that uh, I have envisioned what, since I became vegan. I started doing my first steps, and uh, if if it was even if it was hard, it was just hard for the first week since I was eating everything raw, which was wrong. And I, after I introduced some cooked food, everything became really easy. Apparently, it takes about three weeks for our taste buds on our tongue to renew. At the same time, it takes for our brain to adapt. Once I have adapted to my new lifestyle, fascinating changes started, started happening um, in my life. So here are some benefits that uh, I have noticed, experienced and realized. I always considered myself as a person with a delicate taste, but the food that I started eating never felt as great. Not because I was eating something new, but just because all the ingredients tasted differently. There were so many layers to the same food that I've never realized they were there before. Grocery shopping became the whole new experience. Walking among the aisles on the farmer's market, market feeling the smell of the food. It was just something incredible. I could, um, my body was telling me what it wanted that particular day, and my body was telling me what I'm going to buy, not the pre-made list as used to be before. Cooking, I always loved cooking, but now cooking became my meditation. Uh, experimenting with different spices and ingredients were dissolving all my thoughts. I was here and now. I, none of the fears about the future or regrets, regrets about the past were present anymore. Um, another dimension that I've discovered in the food was the energy. I've noticed that when I was cooking with love, the, the food tasted differently that, rather than when I was cooking while I was upset. So I became really cautious about, about my mood and about my thoughts. And I was trying to put all my love through my hands to the food that I was touching every time. I required less sleep. Even after exhausting training, five to six hours of sleep was enough. And um, waking up stopped being hassle for me. I would open my eyes and boom, I was ready for a new day full of adventures. <laughs> the, probably the favorite part um, is the harmony with my body. Our body is our temple, but how do we really treat it? Do you nourish your body with nutritious, nutritious food exercises and uh, spiritual practices, or do you clog it with the processed sugars and uh, poisoning? My body, my soul, and my um, mind became the unity. I became a happier version of myself since my God was telling my body how to make my soul happy. I, I finally realized who I am and uh, as I said, I came to a happier, happier me. Uh, once you turn vegan, you naturally cut all the processed sugars and you, everything that you eat sweet is either dried fruits or fruits. And our body knows for centuries how to process food like this, not like that. I eliminated all the spice in, my, in the sugar in my blood and my mood was more stable. Obviously my health has changed, I felt myself awesome. Before health was not being sick, but there is so much more to that than just you know, not being sick. Um, you know, feeling, having a good sleep, feeling relaxed and feeling uh, yourself energized was my new definition of health. Something unexpected that I've realized is that life is sacred. We all think that it's normal to take animal's life and we think that our life is holy, but since when, our, since, since when it's, uh, we're so different from animals? 
couple of uh, concerns. The biggest concern is answering the same question. Where do vegans get protein? I wish I was getting a dollar every time I hear this question. So here are some sources of protein which are great. And by the way, the history of the medicine doesn't know any case when the person was diagnosed with protein deficiency. If you're planning on uh, trying to go vegan for a couple of months, then you should not be concerned about B12. But if you're going vegan for the rest of your life, B12 is the vitamin that you need to take a couple of times um, a year. Uh, what we, you probably have now is uh, worth three years of uh, B12 in, in your body. Uh, last spring, sorry, last autumn, I've moved from Louisiana, from dying from heat, and uh, moved to Alaska, by the way, that's me climbing the glacier. And um, I was feeling really cold because I moved from plus 30 to minus 20, and it had got back to me. And uh, there was probably, I wasn't eating meat, to be honest, I was eating fish for the most part, but I have noticed that I've lost that connection that I have once acquired. And uh, two months later, or maybe three months later, I decided that it's time for me to turn back uh, to vegan and uh, the, we leave the way I used to. By the way, it's not the end of the presentation, it's just a black slide. Um, you might have thought that I'm encouraging you to, to turn vegan, but my actual message was to make a small step out of your comfort zone and maybe change your life and approach happier, healthier you. Thank you.